I'm Michael with Clark.com and let me get my Kleenex tissues ready. I had 381,000 Marriott points vanish in the thin air. It was my own fault and that's the purpose of this video to explain what happened to me so it never happens to you. Let's start from the beginning. Just like many of you, I like to play the credit card game where you try to collect as many points as possible as you pay for normal everyday expenses. In the late 1990s, I started a job that required around 30 trips per year, so I rushed to sign up for credit cards from Marriott and Delta to try to benefit from my new travels. Everything went well. I was very loyal to Marriott, staying at one of their properties every chance I could. So let's fast forward to the year of 2022. For my 50th birthday, hey, I wanted to do something special, to take my wife and kids to Hawaii to celebrate my big moment. I had never really used many of my Marriott points over the years in order to save them for a once in a lifetime experience like this. However, when my big moment arrived, I found out that my almost 400,000 Marriott points I had accumulated over 15 years, those points were gone and it was my fault. So let's break down what happened. In 2015, I canceled my Marriott and Delta cards because, well, my job duties had changed. I was no longer traveling. But that really wasn't my mistake. My mistake was this. I thought my Marriott points would work just like my Delta Sky Miles did and continue to exist on my account. I mean, my Delta points from 20 plus years ago are still on my Delta account today, but my Marriott points, that was another story. They got wiped out. How did this happen? I originally thought it was because I canceled my credit card, but surprisingly, that was not it. Marriott revoked my lifetime of points because I had 24 months of inactivity. That's right, if you go 24 months without using or earning points, Marriott can and will take them all back. Now, the exception to the rule is if you have earned lifetime status with Marriott. In that case, you keep your points forever, but that was not the case with me. No lifetime status for me back then, Therefore, my points, they were deleted. Brutal, brutal story, I know, but believe it or not, Marriott's 24-month policy is the same at other hotels such as Hyatt, Radisson, and Hilton. I just didn't know the rules of the game, and that's on me. And that's why we did this video, so you would know if you did not already know. Okay, back to the story. Of course, I tried to get the points back. Sometimes companies can be very lenient and forgiving once they hear your story. And I felt like I had a good story to tell, staying loyal to the Marriott brand for more than 15 years. I reached out to Marriott several different ways and I even had a guy who worked for Marriott in my fantasy football league, but none of it worked. Uh, Marriott was very professional and responsive, but nothing was going to change. I had waited way too long. So the lesson learned from this story is this. Whenever you collect travel and rewards points, make sure you understand how you can lose the points. There are places like Delta and Southwest Airlines where your points never expire, but they seem to be in the minority. So again, with each points program, just make sure you fully understand how you can lose your points. I did that the other night with one of my Chase Visa cards that I'm thinking about terminating. Having learned my lesson with Marriott, I called Chase. And yes, as many of you know, if you cancel your card, you will lose your rewards points unless you use them before you cancel. Chase provided me with many options to use those points in a hurry, such as gift cards, a cash back direct deposit to my bank account, and transferring them to local travel partners. To finish the story, I did end up making that special trip to Hawaii, and it was an experience that my family will never forget, but we did pay more money for it than we should have. Now, if you have a nightmare story about travel points or credit card points, we'd love to commiserate and hear about it in the comments section below. Maybe we can learn something from your story. Happy shopping and have a good day.